So it's here, it's now, it's game time. Yes! Lost to a team that had bobbed the builder up front. Confession to make, it's here, it's now, it's game day. We're home for this one, we're off to the hive. It's Barnet for the Absolute United in the Vanarama National League. I'm going to put to bed all the rumours you may have heard about me. I'm not one of the people that's been banned from the hive. Run. Also, I just want to go on record saying that sitting 16th in non-league football, three wins from 15 in all competitions, where two of them wins come against part-timers and bottom of the league, where in our last game, we managed one shot on target due to the defender passing the ball to Jack Taylor and one shot on target against Fleetwood in the Cup coming in the 92nd minute, conceding first and having to wait for the other team to score a second before we wake up and try to play some football. Could Barnet Football Club please tell me all about this exciting match experience. Thank you. But that's enough of chatting bollocks. Let's get to football. No! So Ebbsfleet now sit 23rd in the National League, where they've played 22 times, winning four, and one of them was against us. Drawing seven, losing 11, scoring 31, conceding 41, giving them a goal of minus 10, and are currently on 19 points. The last five games have been one win, three draws, and one loss. It was 24th when we last played them, so at least someone's improving. <laughs> Kevin Watson took charge as manager on the 3rd of November 2019, where he's taken nine games, winning three, drawing four, and losing two, giving him a win percentage of 33.33. .33. Number nine goes the Ugwu, who has eight goals in 21 games. I don't care about your mess. I don't give a fuck. Oh shit. Here we go again. The 18th for the 8th, 2018. Barnet nil, Ebbsfleet United free. Do I really need to say any more on that? So, let's get to the grand. Let's get some team news in. Let's get three points. And then let's get the fuck out of town. Fuck you, Ebbsfleet United. How dare you change your manager and start to put together some results? You selfish bunch of wankers. Come on, Barnet. <laughs> Starting lineup for Barnet tonight in a 3-5-2, Loaching goal. Your three centre arse of Callum Reynolds, Dan Sweeney, and Elliot Johnson. David Tatonda as your left full back, Harry Taylor as your right full back. Two centre mids today, Captain James Dunn and Jack Taylor. Wesley Fongu in the number 10 role. And up front, Simon Akinola and Josh Walker. And this is our Absolute United lineup for tonight's game in a 3-5-2. 20 minutes in, currently goalless. Had about 90% of the possession, passing around nicely. Absolute are sitting really deep, so it's hard to break them down. Tatonda had a shot. Six minutes wasn't really troubling the goalkeeper. That's it. Oh, what a goal! Yes! Oh, yeah, you did! Well, take a bow, son. I mean that. Take a bow. Now, if you thought John Rooney's goal at the weekend was great, Jack Taylor, the dip and the swerve on that. He's about 800 yards out from goal, and he's had a crack, and that's just gone. Woo! Straight into the top corner. Keeper, no chance. Barnet 1, Ezra United 0. Come on. 10 to the half, we still lead 1 0. We've had all the possession in the world, but we're not creating many chances. Jack Taylor's shot came out of nowhere. Ezra are so deep, resorting us to a long shot effort, and that's the difference between the two sides. 36 minutes in, Barnet 1, Ebsfleet United 1. Another set piece. Soft free kick to give away, arguably. Ebsfleet with a ball in, knock it down, hobbly high. He's just twisted and turned in our box. I've seen forwards who can't even do that. Our forwards can't even do that. And this is a centre half. Cutting shapes in the box, rolls it into the back of the net. It's another set piece that we've conceded yet again. Yeah! 
41 minutes in, Barnet 2, Ezra United 1. Akinola has put us back in the lead. Poor clearance from an Epsom League defender. Jack Taylor plays in the front group, who dips it into Akinola. Lovely little finish. Cherry on Rias, bottom left hand corner. Heber, not a chance. Time here at the Hive, it's Barnet 2, Edgewood United 1. We played all right for 45 minutes, despite another set of piece that we've conceded from. Haven't created many chances. A little bit sloppy in parts. Edgewood not offering a great deal, but he's always the potential banana ones. And with our recent form and how things have gone, anything can happen in this second half. Apart from that set of piece, we've dealt with everything that's come out way. See what the second half brings. Come on, Barnet. Fifty-five minutes in, Barnet two, Ebsley United two. Very well worked goal by Ebsley United. Diagonal ball from centre mid all the way to Andre Blackman. Ebsley goal. It was a lovely ball to Andre Blackman. If Harry Taylor touches him, he goes down as a penalty. And Ogre pretty much got an empty net. Another one. Yeah! A minute later, I win that. Three, two, up! Jesus Christ! Quick counter attack, then Esleek's right hand side. Sims one on one with the keeper, slots it into the bottom corner, and a three, two, up just like that. Oh, yeah! Yeah! On the 66th minute, it's Barnet Forest, Esleek United two. Josh Walker, what an amazing bit of individual class, skill, initiative, everything. He wins the ball on the halfway line, Dan. Ebsleek's left hand side. He's running towards the box. He's driving at him. He's going, come and have a go. Come at me, bro. I've got no fear. He's taking on three of our players. Ducking and diving, bobbing and weaving, and he pops it into the bottom. Right hand corner. Come on. On the 70th minute, the refs just give us a penalty. That is quite soft. We've just smashed the ball at Andre Blackman. He can't move out of the way, but the refs give it. And there's a chance to go 5-2 up. Another one. Yeah! Akinola scores his hat trick, making it 5 2 to Barnet. Looking into the right hand side of the keeper, who goes the opposite way. Quarter of an hour to go, we still need 5 2. Yes, we've scored five goals. Ezra just had a goal disallowed, looks like an handball. Into the 90th, just added on three minutes, we still lead 5 2. So the game finished Barnet 5, Ebsleet United 2. Well, I guess that's what Barnet mean. Barn enjoyment match. I always hold my hands up when I've mugged myself off. Always give credit when I think it's deserved. Maybe I'm a little bit more negative than I think I am being realistic. But I would always call it how I see it. We won and we scored five goals. But let's not get too carried away and get overexcited. We still conceded from a set piece. We've conceded two goals from a team who's in the relegation zone. Ebsleet were a poor side, but they were giving it a go. And the Reds only Jocks when our third win in. I'm happy we won. We needed a win. But the only question that I've got is why has it taken so long to finally see what we've all seen all season and finally change things? Be it from the captain, the formation, the starting 11. Did Uncle Tony say that the P45s were waiting and that was the wake up call for everyone to turn around and say, okay, we'll do the job you're paying us to do. We'll stop taking the piss now. We fought hard and we showed passion and desire. And we go into a 10 day break now. The worst thing for us would have gone into that with no points at all. Changes were asked of and changes were made. So full credit for that. Well done to everyone involved in last night's game. Can we go again in 10 days time home to Fylde? We'll have to wait and see. You know what to do. Ta -la. It's about damn time.